The Kilauea summit is wide awake and erupting once again. The U.S. Geological Survey raised the alert level for Kilauea to red as the volcano resumed eruption after a nearly month-long hiatus. Joining us this morning for an update is Mike Zoller from the U.S. Geological Survey. Thanks for being with us, Mike. Good morning. And uh, let us know, now you're in Volcano, so you're right there close to the action. Have there been any, any changes overnight? So the eruption, as you probably know, started in the late afternoon yesterday um, with several vents opening up on the Halema'oma'u crater floor and overplating the crater floor with new lava. Overnight, uh, some of those initial vents shut down and new ones started erupting lava. Large sections of the, the new lava lake that's forming down there have started to crust it up. And, and, and this is a, a pretty typical process um, as, as the eruption rates slow, it can't sustain circulation over such a large area. So it's pretty typical that in a, a lava lake eruption like this, the areas might start to shut down and the, the active area might start to shrink as the eruption goes on. Now, if you go to areas such as uh, Leilani Estates, it's pretty remarkable. You could see lava rock coming out of the uh, ground in the middle of the street, kind of steaming. Uh, what concerns are there for surrounding neighborhoods that could be impacted, and what is that possibility like? Well, fortunately, this eruption, uh, like the last two that we've seen at the Kilauea summit, uh, is at this time completely contained to the Hale Mo'omo'o crater at in, within the summit caldera. Um, so we had an eruption in, it, that started in December 2020 and another one that started in September 2021 that followed very much the same pattern and stay con stayed contained to that summit crater for, for a couple of years. And at this time, all our geophysical indications are suggesting that the same thing is going to happen. It's going to stay in that area. There's no earthquakes suggesting migration elsewhere on the volcano. Uh, the one thing that might be a slight hazard to surrounding communities is volcanic gas output because whenever we have a summit eruption like this renewing, gas emissions do go up to the several thousand tons a day level. Um, and so some communities downwind of the summit might start to see higher amounts of fog as a result of this. Is there anything that one should be doing to be prepared, be aware, or to mitigate uh, the uh, fog as you were describing? The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory um, and, and the Hawaii Interagency VOG Network um, have, have websites that track the VOG and issue, and issue forecasts for where it might go and the expected levels that might affect certain communities downwind. And folks, especially those who are susceptible to respiratory illnesses, can keep an eye on that and just know, know when the days might be coming down the road where maybe it's best to stay indoors or if absolutely necessary, maybe just go take a shopping trip to Hilo that day if the, if the VOG levels in their community are gonna be a little bit high. And lastly, what are you seeing in regards to the activity around Volcano? You're right there in the middle of the action. Uh, how have, how's the atmosphere been? Well, it's it, it's rejuvenated in a sense because we had a, we had a month here at, uh, at Kilauea with no eruption. Uh, and last night, as I was I was leaving the national park, um, having visited the eruption myself for the first several hours, thousands of visitors were flooding in to see it. Um, this is a this is a very nice eruption in the sense that it's easy for the public to come see from a lot of the public visitor overlooks in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And from what I could see last night, everybody was taking advantage of that. All right, thank you so much, Mike Zoller of the USGS. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you.